Hi everybody, hope you are doing fine. Welcome to the BrainBook channel. I'm Amir and in this video I want to talk about model animals or model organisms that are being used in biological researches. What is a model organism? It's a species that has been widely studied by other researchers and scientists and it's easy to maintain and breed it in laboratory and setting. Also, it should have experimental advantages for us that I will talk about them. It should be a non-human species because uh, considering uh, ethical and uh, other issues, it's not allowed to study human species. And also, um, by considering these features, uh, this kind of model organism helps scientists and researchers to understand the biological researches. Each uh, model organism should uh, have uh, its own um, features. The size matters, uh, and in some studies, uh, the size is very important, and also uh, it determines the cost of the study about the for example maintaining them it's very important also uh, it's very important uh, to consider the generation time the time between being born and being reproduced uh, is very important some studies for example studies that are related to the genetics or um, developmental biology uh, or some other subjects uh, need to uh, consider the generation time of the model organism. Uh, in addition, the breeding number is very important. For example, some uh, model organism produce next generation in high quantity, but some others uh, do not. Uh, and uh, also the embryo size uh, is um, essential, for example, in uh, neurodevelopmental biology and studies. The embryo size matter uh, and uh, being vertebrate or non-vertebrate uh, is um, considered for different studies. Uh, because, for example, vertebrates are more similar to human rather than non-vertebrates, but uh, some features would be considered, uh, for example, making generation uh, another generation in a specific time or embryo size to choose non-vertebrates. Uh, also, uh, our model organism should have available genetic tools and uh, their position in the evolutionary tree uh, is very important to be considered as a good model for human studies. Uh, different organisms have different similarity to human gene and genomes. For example, here human with each other uh, have 99.9% uh, .9 similarity between each other. Uh, after that, the chimpanzee have uh, 96 similarity with human. Uh, that made it a very good uh, model organism to study human. Uh, but uh, as it is very big in size and it's not uh, convenient uh, for keeping this animal because it is very big it needs a huge places and laboratory also their nutrition their feeding their housing uh, and their generation time uh, it's not convenient after uh, the chimpanzee in our model uh, animal uh, the mice has 85% similarity, its genome has 85% similarity <coughs> to human genome. Uh, 
and the generation is good the generation time and also the size and the starting is very good and for this reason in the ma majority of researchers the rodents and the mice is being considered as a model animal and after the mice uh, the drosophila melanogaster which is a fruit fly have 60 percent similarity to human genome uh, for some studies it is considered as a model organism and after that uh, about the yeast uh, that has a 32 percent similarity in its genome is 32 uh, percent similar to the human genome uh, yes among all of these uh, scientists or researcher maybe prefer this or this or this by considering different aspects and criteria. Uh, we have several number of uh, model organism, but here uh, for getting familiar with this kind of uh, model organism, I uh, have a short list uh, of uh, some model organisms here for example we have a yeast as a model organism eukaryote organism a fruit fly a nematode worm uh, also western cloud frog uh, mouse that's not the picture is not available here the uh, zebra fish and also the monkey these are different uh, organisms that are being considered as a model uh, for a study uh, by considering their different features. Uh, here I provide uh, some information about each model organism. Uh, we have Drosophila melanogaster. Uh, the most important thing about this model organism is its low cost. It's low cost. Uh, it has a rapid generation time uh, and easy to keep uh, in a large quantities. Uh, and uh, it's cost effective for handling, as you can see here, uh, in a, a small place you can uh, keep them, you can make generation, uh, nourish them uh, and other things. It has a small genome uh, for studies and uh, it has been used to study uh, of uh, genetic mutations and gene functions and also um, some references says that it has complex behavior but some others do not but uh, there, there are some um, similarity uh, for their behavior uh, with uh, other uh, and other several and complex organisms uh, also it has a less uh, complex and adaptive immune response uh, that uh, is not for example uh, suitable for studying the immune response in comparison with human or other complex organisms here we have zebra fish it has a low cost and uh, another aspect is it has a rapid generation time and generates a high number of uh, um, high in a high number and it's very easy uh, to genetically manipulated and engineered uh, for developmental uh, research and uh, for developmental biology uh, subjects uh, there is something that the embryos of uh, zebra fish are transparent you can see uh, inside the body of the embryos and uh, it made it easy uh, to be considered as a good uh, model for developmental biology uh, and uh, these features made these organisms suitable for to be considered for some specific research in developmental biology and developmental researches. Uh, the rodents are the most used animals in research. 
uh, and uh, it's easy to access and uh, the, there are many ready available models uh, they are genetically modified to be ready for you to perform your research projects and uh, their similarity their genome similarity to human uh, is good and uh, also they are ver vertebrates they are mammals and they share some characteristic with a human and they are used in developmental researches and several diseases, diseases uh, and uh, but it's necessary to use marine adapted virus for these uh, kind of models that limit the uh, research and also they have a relatively long uh, gestational period but by considering all the features I can say that they are uh, one of the best model uh, organism and animal in uh, biomedical and biological researches uh, here we have a monkey macaque monkey uh, if we can see there the similarity, the genome similarity we, um, to human, they are genetically similar to human, and uh, that is excellent. But uh, as I told, the size matter, the breeding time, uh, their nutrition, their maintaining, and these things limit their usage in different studies. Uh, also, they have a similar immune response to human. Uh, and for finalizing the, for example, candidate drugs or treatments for uh, human uh, in the final stage, uh, a scientist and researcher used uh, monkey models to mimic the human immune response. And uh, also they are useful for uh, longitudinal studies. Uh, among all of the mentioned uh, model animals, the mouse is the most uh, uh, f is famous. Uh, and we will focus on the mouse in this uh, presentation and next three presentations to uh, provide you detailed information about this model animal. Uh, the genome sequence of the mouse is approximately 3,500 million base pair in the lens and contains over 23,000 coding genes. And anatomy, physiology, and the genetic is similar to human. For example, here you have a human chromosome and here you have a mouse chromosome and you can see here they have relatively the same banding that indicates the uh, mouse genome is relatively similar to the human genome and it made it uh, a good candidate for for example gene, uh, study of their genome and the genetic study in addition, uh, it uh, has a short lifespan. For example, uh, scientists and researchers could easily study uh, about aging uh, and uh, some researches that are related to the aging. And the generation time is about 10 weeks. And after a short period of time, uh, we can uh, have a... Uh, high number of liters and also um, we can have next generations uh, they are easy to manipulate uh, their genome uh, for example um, they uh, modify their uh, genetics uh, and uh, also uh, obtain a next modified generation uh, from uh, them. Uh, 
in addition that they have a easy breathing and for example for their features and characteristic or their gene we can easily uh, find the next generation and predict them and also we can uh, choose some specific uh, uh, generation and breed them together and uh, obtain our desired uh, population. In the next uh, presentation I will provide more and more information about using animal model in biological researches. Thank you for your consideration and your attention. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you think this video was helpful, please put the like button and uh, suggest uh, this video to your friends. See you later. Bye.